Okay, we're going to fasten the Y-axis rail support onto this bridge support for the gantry. You'll notice that there's holes in the middle, and these correspond to these holes, and the holes on the top, which are oval in nature, are going to correspond to these holes. We're not going to be putting in, we're not going to be attaching these holes yet because these actually go to a another piece that's going on the back that will um, give the gantry overall support. We are going to put these screws in, but we're going to only put four of these screws in because one of them is going to conflict with the, the motor depending on what side it is. So if you have the motor on this side, and let's go, let's just look at the gantry now. We can, we notice that the gantry side is on on this side, and when we put it on, we want to exclude that this screw on this side. If this gantry support was on the other side, which can happen, then we would exclude this screw. We'll be using one and a half inch screws at quarter inch um, diameter and standard nuts. I'm excluding this screw because I have the motor on this side. I'm going to start with two screws so I can get it in place and put in the nuts. Finger tight. Now we'll add the rails to the Y-axis rail support. And these go on one way. These are the cross dowel holes that will match these screws. And you'll notice that it's not symmetrical, so if you actually do it this way, it will not match. So you have to, it will only match one in one direction, one orientation. So let's go ahead and put them on. You're gonna put one on the top, like this, and one's gonna be on the bottom, like this. And the screws that I'm using are one inch screws. And don't tighten them all the way because you will need to adjust the, the position of these to match the position of the one on the bottom and to make sure it's straight. Now we're ready to align the rails. And what I'm going to do is just feel the edge of here to make sure that it's got about the same amount of of distance from the face. And I'm going to tighten down one end first. And that's the same. Feel this one, this is the same. Tighten down this end. And then I'll go to the middle or somewhere around the middle. And then tighten in the two remaining screws. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to the top rail. Okay, so the prerequisites for the next step are we have these rails on, we have this piece um, put onto the, the bridge of the gantry, and we have the two gantry sides on the table. Now we have this piece, we're going to attach it to the gantry sides, and they should come together pretty, pretty nicely. Um, if they don't, then you need to scoot the rails in just a little bit to allow the bridge piece to go around the gantry, the two gantry sides. This bridge piece here, or the, the wrap around here, um, further stabilizes the gantry side so it doesn't do any, um, any vibrations uh, axially um, along the y-axis. Okay, we'll use two inch screws to attach this piece to the gantry. You'll also notice that these are oval as well to 
adjust for any thicknesses, any differences in thickness for the gantry sides and where it has to fasten into the bottom. And you don't want to fasten it in too tight yet. I'm going to put a one and a half inch screw into here and it's going to meet up with this cross dowel hole on the gantry side. And you don't want to tighten it up all the way. And once you do tighten it, loosen it up. And we're going to put a screw in here. This will also be a one and a half inch screw. And with a cross dowel. And we're going to tighten this up. So when I'm tightening, tightening it up, you can see it getting really close on this side. And I'm going to tighten these up and then I might loosen them again and then tighten it up. So I'm going to loosen these. And now I'm going to tighten it up again. I'm going to tighten this one up. I'm going to loosen this one again and tighten it up again. And what this is doing is it's getting these two intersections as close as possible. Now I'm going to do the same thing here to this side. One and a half inch at the bottom. Okay, and one and a half inch for this side here. Now tighten the ones that are remaining. Okay, we're going to be taking the rails and, and, and tightening the rails down to the table. And this really can be done almost at any step of the, um, after you get the gantry sides on and this is on. Any step afterwards you can actually do this. The first thing we want to do is make sure that you run this back and forth a few times to get these a little bit settled. And then just loosely tighten them just with your finger. We're going to run it back and forth again. And what this is going to do is make sure that the rails are flat to the table when they do move into position and get settled. This doesn't really have anything to do with squaring the table, because squaring the table is a matter of rotating the gantry. But we do want these rails to be parallel to each other. And that, we're going to use the gantry to be able to do this. Alright, we're going to run this back and forth a few more times. Just to make sure it settles into place. And it's nice and, and parallel. Now, the important thing is to tighten it as we go along. I'm going to tighten it in the back, both sides and then keep tightening as we go along. We want to tighten it where these V-groove bearings are located as close as possible. I'm just using a little socket to it doesn't slip on me. Okay, so now they're all tight, you can now go ahead and tighten up the bottom bearings onto the, the rail if they haven't been done so already. And they may actually be too tight because since by tightening this, we may have actually um, put a little bit of torsion on the rail, so we're going to first loosen it, and then we'll tighten it again. And we'll tighten it to finger tightness. So it can still move, but it's still flat against the, the wood. 
And we just really want to feel for it. We don't want to get it too tight because it won't be able to roll if we do. And we can test the tightness of it. That's good. It's very firm. It's not going to move at all. And do the same thing to the other side. 